I put out three separate videos on tools or services that you can use for prototyping or small scale production of surface mount boards. First one was I built a toaster reflow oven. Second one was I built a vacuum pickup tool for surface mount components. And the third one is I reviewed OSH stencils, captain based stencils for going on top of your circuit board so you can put solder paste. So now we're going to put all that together and I'm going to actually make my first board by doing reflow process. I already have the circuit board that I used to review OSH stencils and it's still covered. It's only been about 20 minutes since I've actually made that video. So we're going to use that, that board. I'm going to place all the components with the vacuum pickup tool and then I'll bring the reflow oven, bring it up here and we'll reflow the components and see how well it works. So let me move the camera and we'll get set up to do all the pick and place. Okay, I got my little vacuum pickup tool plugged in, ready to go. So let's go ahead and start putting components on here. Okay, sorry about that. Most of those components, it looked like it wasn't working very well. Well, I had the camera lens too close. I was trying to get a good close up. So for the last two components, I switched the camera around. Once it was out of the way, I was able to place a lot better. And if you don't have a camera in your way at all, you can actually look straight up and down and you can place components a lot quicker. So let's take the circuit board down, turn on the oven, move the camera one more time, and we'll see the reflow process. Okay, let's get the oven plugged in. Okay, let's put our circuit board inside. Very carefully. Okay, now I'm gonna close it, move the camera one more time. This way you can get a real good close up of when it actually goes through reflow. Okay, let me hit the start button and we'll get this started.
Okay, just switch to soak. We're at 150 degrees C. Okay, we just hit reflow. We're at 200 C, so it should start any second. Here goes the smaller ones. There goes the inductor. There goes the resistor right in front of the inductor. Now we're in cool down mode. And there is the completed circuit board. All I have to do is the through hole components, basically just the supercapacitor, the two wires for the solar cell, and the uh, LED on this circuit, and it's done. So with the combination of all this stuff I just showed you, it makes my production a lot quicker and easier. So if you have any ideas, questions, comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll get back to you.